Hi pal, this is Tony Loftwood. Here we are in Cleveland at Case 18. I have a very interesting person here and I would like you to introduce yourself. Who do you work for? What do you do? Why would an engineer running simulation stuff be interested in what? It's a little output, I understand, that you work for. Yeah, so I am Leila Salman. I am High Frequency Lead Application Engineer in ANSYS. Uh, my background is in electromagnetic simulation and antenna design. Um, and therefore, when we start ta talking about simulation uh, today, I will refer to Internet of Things. So the emergence of the Internet of Things uh, technology is uh, driving the development of several challenging engineering problems. Such as? such as Internet of Things, uh, smart connected devices, mm -hmm. um, 5G communication, as well as autonomous vehicles. And these are the topics I'm willing to start talking to you about. Okay, so, well, jump in. Uh, okay, so one should we want. start with the smart connected devices? Sure, yeah. Okay. So, did you know that by 2025, there will be 20 to 30 billion connected devices worldwide? This is right. such a huge number. Right, that's... Yeah, yeah. And that's why Internet of Things is the future of smart connected devices because not only the integration of these applications or devices but also the intelligence of data information exchange among these devices over the web. So think about it this way. In, uh, today or in a couple of years, uh, leaders, uh, technology leaders in different or organizations, they will be asked to start changing or implementing IoT methodology or uh, implementation in their products. In other words, today I have a product, but tomorrow I need to have this product as a smart connected product. Mm -hmm. With a technology that requires skills that can be outside of the traditional domain of expertise of your team. Right. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Didn't I? Okay. And this is where ANSYS can help customers, engineers, to tackle these engineering challenges in IoT space, for example, mm -hmm. such as size, weight, power, cooling, integration, sensing, connectivity, reliability, safety, and durability. Mm -hmm. So ANSYS provides customers with the most innovative uh, solution and products to be delivered to the market with the shortest time. And this is through the ANSYS uh, multi-physics platform. Mm -hmm. So I will take, I'll give you a quick example. Okay. Smart yeah. Home Initiative. It started 1980s, right. but today Smart Home Initiative is allowing uh, smart home owners to communicate, arrange, manage, control appliances, mm -hmm. connected devices mm -hmm. from their smart home mm -hmm. uh, application or yeah. from s their smartphone application. I'm sorry. Yeah. But or even you, over you, the web. I think I really want my refrigerator reporting to my wife exactly how many times I opened that door? Well, uh, I don't think so, but you want your refrigerator to report that you don't have enough milk <coughs> for right, tomorrow yeah. morning, All right. right? All right, that's okay. And therefore, I'll deal with that. if yeah. somebody is stopping yeah. by the grocery store, they will pick up the milk, right? Yeah. For you. Okay. Or for example, while I'm driving back home, I have some food in the stove and I would like to turn the stove on, air conditioning system on, every, all the lights on, so that home is ready for me to come in. And this is where different type of uh, simulation tools within ANSYS can help engineers to do not only electromagnetic solution, but also mechanical, structural, stress, thermal analysis, as well as semiconductor tools. So all of this enables engineer to handle such complex environments. Okay, now I'm running a company, okay, and we, yes. we have our thing, uh, whatever, and, and I can see that we could do work it into the internet of things and the smart mm -hmm. connected home stuff like that this this would work we could do this with them. but do we have how do, uh, where do i begin how do i start this because you're, you you mentioned multi-physics but you're all sorts of disciplines you're talking about here and a structural uh, electromagnetics it's, it's a tough 
decision from where to start, yeah. right? And, 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 you know, how, how do you help people? Who, they must approach you and say... They, definitely, they, you know. definitely. We have the tools and the expertise. Right. So let me tell you, for example, ADAS, Autonomous Vehicles, mm -hmm. or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. Well, this is a brand new topic. And right. not only that, it's even higher frequency range right. to design radar modules. So we do have the tools, the expertise to help um, radar sensor developers or even OEM companies, as well as safety control systems uh, developers to simulate. So we cannot depend all the time on build test methodology. No, no. Because when you start talking about uh, uh, autonomous driving right. or autonomous vehicles, in order to safety is an imperative and the only way for us to test safety right. in the most safest way is by simulation based right. technology right. and this is where with our expertise with our multi physics simulation tools with our um, high technology so software that we have within ansys that can enable engineers handle even electrically large models you can you can run simulation on a street mm -hmm. Um, size of a model or even the city size you can look at intersection for example a street intersection where you have multiple cars you have a vehicle to vehicle simulation or type of communication or even vehicle to infrastructure communication as well as the light poles are illuminating and uh, giving coverage for handheld devices all of this needs to be um, simulated simultaneously so that we see if there's any type of interference we want to make sure that the car will not have an accident just because another car in front of it is just stopped uh, suddenly. Right. That uh, accident avoidance needs to be tested in hundreds of scenarios right. before we put people into non-driver car. cars. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're into this. Yes. I can tell. You're really into this. <laughs> What? What are you most into? What? What really gets you going on this? Um, it's the innovation. Mm -hmm. It's every year we have a new topic. We have uh, hot applications that needs to be um, studied, as well as illustration of how simulation can help designers to to look at these problems. We have a solution but we need to make sure that the solution fits these type of applications. And this is where the, the, the way that we deal with um, those type of applications and we, we help our customers is that, for example, let me give you an example. So 5G is now um, a hot topic. Mm -hmm. Do you know that by 2023, there will be 20% of the world's population using 5G technology? Oh yeah, that would be really that. That is coming very soon. Right, the fifth generation and, and, is coming very soon. Right, and, and and the eighth will be under development. That is correct. Yeah. So, how customers, or how, for example, the um, the uh, the smartphone um, customer will be able to handle five G new engineering challenges? Mm -hmm. Well, why? Because five G as the fifth. Uh, generation of mobile network is going to operate at a higher frequency band. Mm -hmm. When we say high frequency band, it's millimeter wave design. Mm -hmm. So those engineering challenges will start with the millimeter wave design, go to massive MIMO, multi-input, multi-output systems, to um, carrier aggr uh, aggression. Mm -hmm. And these challenges need to be handled with high accuracy and high fidelity simulation tools. Because when you go higher in the frequency range, all your parts and components are going to be very small. Right. They will shrink. Right. So you need a simulation tool that will um, describe or do component modeling as well as environmental modeling. And this is where ANSYS can play a role. It's not only antenna design. No, I don't know. It's not uh, only no, antenna design. No, no, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is great stuff. I can tell you that the ANSYS site has all sorts of information on this. Uh, ANSYS.com, you, you, there are on-demand webinars and white papers, and you, know, you probably wrote some of that uh, And I have one today. And you have <laughs> one today. And 
I want to just thank you so much. Thank this you is so much. fascinating. Thank you so much thank for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, pal. See ya. Bye.